Oh my gosh. Look at this. I woke up to that view. Ooh. And it's my birthday. What? I'm so excited to get the day rolling. It is so cold. I don't even know what to do right now. Like, <laughs> it kind of feels like winter and I don't have any real winter clothes with me. My hands are so cold. So, you see how these things are all turned up? I got in late last night and I had to, I didn't check in with the park office because it was um, closed and just a few seconds ago the park ranger <laughs> the park ranger <laughs> the park ranger came and parked next to my car and came <laughs> she's like good morning <laughs> it was really funny she's like you gotta check in at the office um, I'll be there at 9.30, come then. I was like, okay. <laughs> and I, here I am, sitting in my blanket and sleeping bag. It's just like, what? Dude, it's my birthday, don't wake me up. <laughs> anyway, I've been reviewing some things so that I can do some more um, videos. No, not videos, some more writing. And yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, get up, get dressed, because I have to. I just checked in, and now I'm going on a hike to see the falls. So I just finished lunch a few minutes ago and I've been going through now all my notes from my forest therapy practicum which was six months long and then going through my past two journals and then I'm about to start writing in a new one and then I will start writing more for my book and doing a little bit more editing. That's about it. I don't remember where I left you last. I think it was when I was eating. Um, I've since spent about two hours rereading some writings that I had done. Um, gosh, like over a year ago and just under a year ago. Um, and then I sat down to write a little bit as well. Part of my reason for coming here and you know just spending the night um, camping on my birthday part of it was just wanting to be productive and to not feel the need to do anything and the other little piece is that I've been wanting to get this tattoo for well over a year and it's four little glyphs 
that that uh, say explore connect question express I've been wanting it for so long and I was like okay here's here's my opportunity to make it happen and a while ago when I was researching this I was like okay it's there's three different shops very close by to where I am and I was just planning on calling and walking in and this morning I looked and two of them are not open today and the other is booked they don't have space that was part of <laughs> why I wanted to be here anyway it's my birthday and I've had a super awesome day so far it wasn't exactly what I was thinking it was gonna be but that's okay um, it's still been really fun I've gotten to do some editing a lot of writing which is really exciting because that was I think the main purpose of these extra few days before going home was to get some writing done and as I've been thinking about um, you know being in spaces that inspire me I'm really wanting to be in my tiny house right now so many exciting things are on their way and I think I want time in my tiny house and so I've got another probably two hours or so of work that I want to get done here and then I think I'm gonna pack up early and head home and get to stay in my tiny house on my birthday which um, been a little while since I've been in my tiny house I know last year I wasn't in my tiny house but uh, one more thing I wanted just to, to mention before I uh, go change and, and wrap a few things up. Often your 21st birthday is associated with, you know, your ability to now purchase alcohol. And I'm not against alcohol necessarily. I'm not, um, in terms of my health, I, I don't want to be consuming that. But that doesn't mean in the future I won't. But also just from the standpoint of it really doesn't help me share this greater vision that I have for the world. I love being productive and creating things and um, if something is going to make it so that I can't um, use my time as wisely as um, I usually do, I, I generally won't want to partake in that activity. You could also relate that to me really not liking to go to movies. Um, you know, there's really important storytelling and craft that happens in movies, but I'm also um, really aware of the time commitment, and so I just don't spend a lot of time, I try not to spend a lot of time doing um, more meaningless things. I want to help people. I've been gifted with a lot of opportunities and a lot of um, awareness that has allowed me to realize I'm in a really great spot right now and I have the ability and the skills to help change people's lives and um, not not using those gifts and talents that I've been given um, feels kind of like a waste of 
a life. To think that whatever you believe, um, think that someone or the universe in some way invested in this person, in me, I guess what it comes down to is it, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't bring out the best in people. I want to know what I'm doing. I want it to be very conscious and intentional, and alcohol prohibits that from happening. Similarly, I used to find it, and I still do, find it really hard to motivate myself to exercise. Um, I'm kind of just like a naturally more athletic person, and um, I always played sports growing up, and so... I never really had to think about exercise as something um, outside of the realm of, of sports. I always had a goal. And more recently, kind of related to this, that's why I'm bringing it up, I've realized that you know, the, the healthier I am, the more I exercise my body, the clearer my mind is, and the more I'm able to focus and more inspired I feel and so just recognizing that exercise does add to my life positively and the goal if the goal or mission is to um, bring forward you know nature connection and connection to the stars and to astrology and to each other and exercise helps me do that then I should absolutely be investing more time in moving my body. Anyway, just some thoughts. I will um, check in with you soon. All right, so I'm here in my tiny house and this is gonna conclude my birthday video. Super happy I decided to come home and get an extra um, not an extra, a night in my tiny house because it's been a while. Just have my salt lamp going there. Yeah, you can't really tell, it's too bright. Candles all around me. It's just candlelight and the salt lamp right now. Um, yeah, this was a really fun birthday. I'm really glad that I did everything I did. And, uh, yeah. It is just another number. I'm more excited when I can rent a rental car at 25 without any, um of the extra fees, so <laughs> you'll probably see an epic video when I turn 25, but for now, this is not that exciting, so hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you super, super soon. Bye. Life is wonderful.